Hello, world. My name is Jimothy Barnes. And I'm Cassandra Wilde. And welcome to your weekly broadcast of The Most Important News. For anyone new to the show, we take the absolute most important news and bring it to you every week. You can completely trust us that it is the most important because we take a whole week to get it to you. <laughs> now, this week's top news comes to us from local genius billionaire playboy philanthropist Daniel Stoddard. Now, I don't know about you, Cassandra, but that Daniel always gets me excited for the news. He always seems some, to bring some pretty interesting stories. Well, he's all right, Bill, but there's definitely another man that gets me excited about the news. Oh, Cassandra. Now, Stoddard has just released a documentary explaining nuclear physics. Can you believe that? The process of splitting an atom to produce incredible amounts of energy. Well, I don't know about you, Todd, but atoms won't be the only thing I split tonight. Can, can she say that? Okay, never mind. <clears throat> First of all, it's Jim. We've been co-anchors for about three years now. And second of all, let's not forget that this is live television, Cassandra. <laughs> oh, I'll make you forget that we're live, that's for sure. <clears throat> okay, back to what's important. Daniel's new documentary is told to change the world. Truly riveting stuff here. Let's roll it. Roll the video. She does this every time. I mean, you think after three years. Have you ever wondered what it's like to hold the power of the sun between your fingertips? Me too. Hi, I'm Daniel Stoddard. Local genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Nuclear physics is an interesting topic because it is very controversial. It originated at the University of Chicago in 1942. A man named Enrico Fermi and a group of scientists figured that by using radioactive neutrons you could split atoms. They found that the splitting of an atom gave off an immense amount of energy after the incredible power of Fermi's nuclear reactor was seen, it was theorized, what could this power be used for? All of this was during the height of World War II. So, because of their discovery, the U.S. began work on the Manhattan Project. This project was the creation of the first two nuclear weapons. Weapons that went on to end the war. Many people nowadays wonder, why should we care about this? The U.S. ended the war and now there is no need for nuclear technologies. Today and age, the need for nuclear is ever increasing, ever rising. Some people believe that once it is perfected, it could power every energy need indefinitely. The half-life of uranium that is used in the reactor is about 700 million years, meaning that if there was a way to maintain a reactor without human interaction, the human population would have carbon-free power for practically all lifetimes. However, all this power in one little box is a dangerous game, and it comes with downsides. Once the machine is turned off, the uranium becomes unusable and must be treated as nuclear waste. This waste is a big problem if not treated properly. As mentioned before, the half-life is 700 million years, meaning that it will stay radioactive for 700 million years. Even though it is unusable, it still must be taken care of properly, or it can cause detrimental damage to our environment and society. <clears throat> Another argument is nuclear meltdowns. A meltdown is when the control rod, the only way we can control a nuclear reactor, gets so hot that it melts, and once this rod is gone, there is no way of containing the reaction that is happening. And everything blows up. Nuclear power plant accidents are a big deal, and a valid risk when considering nuclear energy. While it is a risk, it also is incredibly rare. Nuclear meltdowns happen so little that they are almost not a concern anymore, so long as people are being safe and not cutting corners, nuclear meltdowns will not happen. 
To get a proper understanding of this debate, you first have to understand what nuclear power is. Scientists create an unbalance in protons and neutrons, and that unbalance tears the atoms apart. The natural laws of the universe say that everything has to be balanced. So, when people tip that scale, the universe does everything that it can to fix it. This causes a divide in the atom that gives off some intense amount of heat. That heat can be turned into steam, which rotates generators that creates electricity. Now that doesn't sound all that bad, does it? Despite nuclear power being incredibly safe and effective, there are still people out there who are terrified of nuclear technologies. So, being the curious man that I am, I searched out two chemists slash physicists and asked them their opinions on this debate. Here is Tara Davis and Tara Ferry. First of all, I would like to ask you what your opinions are on nuclear energy. Do the pros outweigh the cons? Okay, um, so I actually grew up right next to the Hanford reactors in eastern Washington, and my dad's a PhD scientist, and all my friends' dads are PhD scientists working at the reactors and working at research facilities around the reactors, so I kind of grew up with it. Um, so it's not an issue. Uh, it wasn't an issue as far as safety for me. I hear of other things like Chernobyl and all the, and like Three Mile Island. Chernobyl was terrible, but it was human error, which can be a big deal. But I think as more research as if we will, um, how do you say this? The more research we can do, I think we've been able to find safer and better ways, especially for storage and um, unspent rods that cause a problem. I think it wasn't it Bill Gates that did a lot of research, reached out to a lot of different um, people who've done research and they're able to reuse all of the unspent rods and so there isn't a lot of unreacted radioactive material. Um, so I think instead of shutting everything down, if we can continue to do more research, I think we can find ways that are more safe and less, or how do you say, more protected from, from operator error type things. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, I think it is a, a better way that is cleaner, produces a ton of energy. Um, so I, yeah, I guess I would say I'm extremely pro-nuclear. <laughs> Not weapons, but right. power, absolutely. Right, and I'm the same way. I'm The pros outweigh the cons mm -hmm. on there. The cons are, yes, you have nuclear waste that you have to store, but the technique of recycling is going through, and they're coming up with processes of how to reuse that those unspent fuel rods to be able to get more power out of them. And global warming is real. Right, and so if we can use, I mean, they have these big cooling towers, but really it's just cooling the steam. It's and water. so it's water vapor that it's putting out there, so it's not harming the environment in that regard. And I think one nuclear, one huge nuclear disaster scared everyone, and we've had very few nuclear disasters. And yes, okay, add the tsunami in Japan, and, and you get another one, but still it didn't. It's not a huge widespread result that happens, so I am pro nuclear energy. My next question for the both of you would be, what do you think about the cost of nuclear energy? Economically, is it worth it to go through all this trouble? The initial setup is very cost costly, mm -hmm. right? And if we can remove, like I said, Global warming, if we can prevent any more further global warming, I think the cost is beneficial. And it's not like you have to do this every 10 years, right? You build it and you train the people to run it and they run it properly, it's going to last you. It's going to pay for itself in the amount of energy that's created on there. But if we turn around and we shut them down and then we have to break it apart, no. So, I mean, if we're going to spend the money to build these, it's a long-term deal. It's not a, hey, we're going to try this for 10 years and then we're going to let it go, because that's not cost-effective. And as research and development moves forward, they're getting them to be smaller and smaller and more efficient and less expensive. But if we just keep doing the old way, yeah, they're super expensive. But I think if we allow that development to happen, 
then the cost will be reduced. But also, if you don't do it, the cost of the environment in our world is huge compared to whatever cost a nuclear power plant is going to be. So that's like, well, we we'll just none of us will be here. So you put out the money, or you don't live. You see. The people who have a background in this field all agree. Nuclear is the future. The amount of energy that it outputs far outweighs any risk or cost that comes with nuclear energy. It is, by definition, the most powerful energy source mankind has ever created. Which is why I come before you and ask, stop fearing nuclear. It is the future. Wow, that was incredible. The documentary, of course, truly life-changing. Well, that's it for this week, folks. I'm, um, Tommy? And I'm Cassandra Wilds. Good night, America!